Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I wanna share with you my favorite sweet potato casserole. If you follow me on Instagram every year for Thanksgiving, uh, since I very first shared this recipe with you, you know that my favorite thing on the Thanksgiving table, timer's off, is sweet potato casserole. I wanted to share it with you family style because that's been the theme of this year for Thanksgiving and it's been received so well and I wanna thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for loving this idea that I had that came from you. So if you have um, anything that you, you know, if you have any recipes that you're taking from the series, um, let, me, let me know down below. What do you plan on making from Laura in the Kitchen for Thanksgiving? You know I'm nosy like that and I have to know. What I've got here, sweet potatoes, obviously. Uh, you need about six pounds of sweet potatoes to feed 16 to 20 people. You have to remember, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that goes in the sweet potato that's gonna really bulk it up. You're gonna have a topping on top that's sweet and it's gonna really make it really, really rich. So when we're talking six pounds, you're certainly not gonna serve a half a pound per person, which would also make it so that you could serve 12 if you were. Um, but when you are talking about like a scoop of this, it goes a long way. So don't feel like, oh, that's not gonna be enough for 20 people, 16 people. I always say 16 to 20 because you can really make things stretch for four extra people. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna add all my sweet potatoes into a large pot. You can do a, one of a few things when it comes to sweet potatoes for a casserole. You can bake them. Um, you can steam them or you can boil them. What I do is I just add my sweet potatoes to a large pot. I add enough water to come about three quarters of the way up the sweet potatoes and then I just cook them until they're tender, especially when you're making a lot. It's the easiest way to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep chopping these into really large chunks, add some water, bring them to a boil, and then I'll share with you the next step. All right, so my potatoes are nice and tender. I've got my oven preheated to 350. I have a large baking dish buttered, um, and we're gonna go ahead and get going. Now, I'm just gonna forewarn you, there's a lot of sugar going on and a lot of butter. But you know what? It is time that we just admit the fact that, not really admit, but like come to terms with the fact that it's Thanksgiving. And if you don't leave your house, if you don't leave the table feeling like your pants are never gonna fit you again, you didn't do it right. That's, that's all I'm saying. And you got, also gotta keep in mind that these, this is gonna feed a lot of people. Um, and it's a pretty rich dish. That's why, like I said earlier, you really don't need a ton per serving because it's incredibly, incredibly rich. But it's one of my favorite things ever. And it's probably the thing I look forward to the most on Thanksgiving because I make it one time a year, that's it. I never make it again. <laughs> to the sweet potatoes, you're gonna add brown sugar and granulated sugar, okay? You're going to add some melted butter. I know, listen, it's gonna be good, okay? Let me live. And then you need six eggs and some milk. These are our beautiful eggs. I'm just gonna take this bowl over here for the shells. I'm going to crack my eggs in the milk just so that I can you know, whisk them for a second just to incorporate them all to make it easier on myself. Then we're gonna make a pecan topping because I don't have an excuse. It's just delicious. <laughs> then later we're gonna top it with marshmallows, which is totally optional, but it, a complete must do in my world, so I'm doing it. Go ahead, last one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Give this all a whisk just to start breaking up the eggs. This is gonna be like, I don't know, like a creamy, souffle soft, delicious thing that is just gonna be, it's just gonna be uh, amazing. So I take my masher here and I just mash everything together for a minute and then I switch to a wooden spoon to really combine it all. And it's gonna look loose, but it's, as it cooks, it's gonna get to the perfect consistency. You're just gonna have to trust me. Okay, I'm just gonna move this big pot out of my way, bring this closer to me, give it all a really good stir, uh, and pour it into my buttered pan. Oh my word, this is gonna be so good. You have not lived until you have gone in the fridge 
on Thanksgiving night and grabbed caramelized pieces of pecan topping off of the leftover sweet potato casserole. Just me? Okay, fine, just me, fine, it's fine. Fine, really, but I'm living my best life and you should too. In this bowl, I've got brown sugar, flour, and butter. And using a pastry cutter, I'm just breaking the cold butter, which if I were smart, I would have cut smaller, but you know, it's fine. And I'm just gonna cut this all in here until the butter is in nice small pieces. Oh, it looks good. Okay, to always switch to my hands at the very end. And then you're gonna add in a lot of pecans. Okay, I love chopped pecans. I've said this before, you know, I love pecan pie. My pecan pie brownies are completely a must have. Um, so this is just right up my alley. And then you just take this glorious topping and you sprinkle it all over the top. I know that you might wanna do like a roasted, you know, sweet potato, like a lighter version of a sweet potato dish. But you know, like I said, not on Thanksgiving. Mm -mm. If my sister comes over, well, if I come over to my own house and there's no sweet potato casserole, I'm leaving. You can have green bean casserole, although I like it a lot. Um, I would say you can have the mashed potatoes, but I really don't think I could do that. I really do need my sweet potato casserole. Anyway, I'm going to place this uh, on a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil, just to be safe. Pop it into my oven at 350 for about 45 minutes or so. I'll show you what it looks like when it's there and uh, it's gonna be really good. I know you're gonna love it. Already snacking on the pecan topping. That baby was in the oven for 45 minutes, maybe a few more minutes. I'm putting on, I'm just gonna scatter them by the way. I'm really not gonna take my time to stand them all up. Don't worry, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I'm putting on big marshmallows. You could do mini marshmallows. These are regular size marshmallows because you know what? We've already come this far. Why kid ourselves? Why? You know what I mean? If you want to, you can use mini ones. If you want to go even a step further, um, you can cut these in half and then you can really stand them all up into perfect rows. I am certainly not going to do that. So this one's a small one. I'm just going to go ahead and put these on and pop this back into the oven until, you know, what marshmallows look like when they're all golden and bubbly and before anyone else says anything yes marshmallows do make this better they just do i don't know why but they do so i'm just gonna pop it in look at that baby now you know what happens to marshmallows as soon as they start to cool down they'll deflate uh, so this is a really nice thing to do last minute even if you want to have the casserole with the topping already baked for the 45 minutes and then just pop it in the oven last minute with marshmallows, it's, it's pretty fun, you know what I mean? This is how big a serving is for me. You know I'm an eater, okay? But this is how big a serving is. To me, that is a serving. And I only say that because it is so rich, right? And if you flatten it, you can see it's a pretty good amount. It is so rich and so phenomenal, you do not need more than that. That's why I tell you that this can stretch a lot of people. It's one of my favorite things ever, and I cannot wait to dig into this, and I can't wait for the main day where everything's on the counter, and my pants are unbuttoned, it's gonna be great. But this is gonna be hot, just give me a minute. We'll do a smaller bite, okay? Of the top, like that part where the top is, where it really counts. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I need in my life. That is all I need to be happy. It's the perfect casserole. I've been spraying it for something else. It's the perfect sweet potato casserole. You're gonna love it. I know you will. Go to laurainkitchen.com, get the recipe. Hopefully you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you 